Good day, collective. This is a general water signs reading for your daily ascension and healing process. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and start water signs with your soul's journey lesson for this week. Universe, what's the soul journey lesson for my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for their highest and greatest good? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what's their soul journey lesson for this week? Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Water signs. I feel like you guys are reevaluating some friendships and people in your life. Maybe you're going to put an ending to immature relationships and communications with people or a person. Somebody's paying attention to how someone just keeps having loss after loss. Soul journey lesson for my Cancer Pisces Scorpio collective. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past, but it is in reverse. So water sign. Somebody is not regretful, nor is somebody thankful. But they're focusing on abundance in the process. Regret. Regrets. The soul doesn't know time. Time is a construct of the physical dimension. Think of the past as the now that's already been created and the future as the now that has yet to be created. You don't have the power to uncreate the past, so let that go. Your power of creation lies in your awareness of the present. You should realize that you are the total summation of every single experience you've had. These experiences have helped you become the person you are today. So train yourself not to judge past events as good or bad, but as opportunities. What have you learned from the past that will help enrich your future? Focusing on the past and letting it dictate the direction of your future is taking your power away from yourself. Reflect on the lessons of the past and use your current power to create your bright future this week. Somebody may not necessarily want to do that. Somebody really doesn't want to think about the things that they've done in the past. And that's why they are where they are. Hmm. Okay. Tell us more about this regret in, in, in reverse. Somebody regrets disrespecting the universe. They weren't thinking when they was either doing something. Yeah, somebody wasn't thinking about consequences. Being low vibrational and just overall karmic. I feel like somebody wants to change or somebody wants somebody to change. But I don't know if it's going to happen because whoever it is is like really, really in bad health right now. And spell work is backfiring. What's this regret in reverse? Clarify regret in reverse. Just remember when you think about anything you've done in the past, you don't judge yourself about it. Just focus on the lesson that was meant to be learned from it, okay? What's this regret in the reverse? So we got distant horizon and false person in reverse. Somebody also doesn't regret keeping it real in a situation. Somebody was in their head about some stuff that happened in the past involving a relationship and a divine feminine. 
somebody tried to do something to a divine feminine what's this yeah uh, yeah <laughs> somebody tried to do some work on a divine feminine so that they wouldn't basically be abundant and now they're keeping it real with themselves they also know they can't they can't change the fact that they did that and because the divine feminine wasn't low vibrational whoever helped do the spell work on the divine feminine all of them are in poverty a community of people is having to keep it real with themselves this isn't a group of family members this could be a coven a group of family it's not family members though group of friends either way it go it was very um toxic and karmic somebody is also regretting that they weren't more analytical about a situation a plan that was put in motion um because now they're just experiencing bad luck. And their own mask has come off. So it's like somebody don't regret what they did. But at the same time, they mask being taken off. And it's just like everybody is seeing the real them. Could be an Aries or a father figure or an older masculine. Could be a Sagittarius. But it's a lot of drama and conflict in their life right now. And they just want to get to calmer waters. You have to, you have to um, not face your past, but once you recognize something that you did in the past, don't stay emotionally attached to that decision, okay? Because it's going to leave you very ungrounded, okay? Somebody did some low vibrational things for money. They were just being money hungry and power hungry. <sighs> Could have been due to some childhood issues. And that's what they need to go back to. Take the mask off themselves. What's distant horizons for my water signs? Distant horizons for my water signs. Somebody has Virgo in their chart. We're dealing with a Virgo water signs. Or a Virgo wants to communicate with you. Yeah, Virgo wants to communicate about something that they've seen or researched and found out that uh, now has them in the hangman in reverse. So in the near future, whatever you and or somebody you're connected to have done in the past, that y'all, maybe you didn't regret it when you did it, but now you realize that's why you're experiencing things that you don't want to be experiencing so it's going to be some delays in the near future but that's because the universe is trying to tell you something about your circumstances don't try to force movement forward as you call yourself creating because you really going to end up with something you don't want you're going to end up bored yeah you're going to end up bored and unhappy bored unhappy moving too quick and this quick movement very well could you know end up you having encounters where you literally have to defend yourself so focus on the truth and consider the consequences from whatever you've done in the past that Somebody wants to change, but they can't. Somebody wish they could go back and change something, but they can't. They move too fast out of a miscommunication, like Ten of Cups in reverse is miscommunication, no harmony. And this also could be this uh, group of people as well, where they're having a lot of obstacles because that's the type of work that they sent out. When really they should have listened to their hearts. They didn't listen to their hearts. And now their mask. They can't wear no mask either. Everybody knows what they've done. Yep. Aha moments. Revelations. Enlightenment. 
light has been shown on what this group of people has done. I feel like it's mainly a cancer. A cancer could have tried to do something to a Gemini. And now they have to be completely honest with themselves because they're under judgment. Or a cancer could have done something when it came to a relationship um, or a choice. They made a choice that landed them straight in judgment karma. Like, yeah. What's false person in reverse for my water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, false person in reverse. Or cancer could be in this person's chart. Could also be a Pisces. Yeah, no. <laughs> Moving forward, the people whose masks are falling off at this time, it's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands. They're going to be stuck in a procrastination state. Whatever type of plan that they come up with, with the two of wands, unfortunately, it's not going to go forward and they're going to become even more frustrated and impatient. So if this is you or you're connected to this person, I really hope that y'all take some time to go within and try to um, just accept the past especially if you know you were working out of a gossiping um, <sighs> immature overindulging exaggerating shit like if you know you was being petty basically to fuck up other people's new start and have them ungrounded and unstable you need to go back and and figure out why the fuck you did that real talk or why you you allowed that type of shit to be done to you yeah it was definitely spell work that was paid for but that spell work has been put to rest you need to go into a um meditative state because one of your peoples is under judgment right now libra energy it's a young a young sign Somebody that you communicate with or they're going to try to communicate with you. But they've already gotten communication from a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that that magic and manipulation, baby, has stopped movement forward for anything. That's why in the near future and moving forward, it's always going to be impatience. It's always going to be procrastination. Ungroundedness. And it's the masculine that's taking his mask off and he pissed the fuck off. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine. But he's very dissatisfied and ready to confront somebody in the near future. So just be ready for that. What's the divine abundance message for my water sign collective, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Or this could be you standing up for yourself. Yeah, going with the flow and taking the right action. What's the divine abundance message for my Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio collective? Somebody's also accepting the fact that somebody has a, um, a soulmate, twin flame. And they're surrendering to that fact, but somebody is delusional as fuck and refuse to clear up that delusion, okay? Yeah, they don't want to let go. They like, no. Yeah. Uh, what's the divine abundance message for my water signs? Capric um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, divine abundance message, please, and thank you, universe. It's the Capricorn that may be doing some traveling to somebody. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Maybe you have Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with a Capricorn.
whoever it is that's they're going through this ex their Jupiter is expanding in somebody's life and in the near future I want to say they got some explaining to do because somebody has literally used spell work to break up relationships that God had put together like divine love because they didn't want to surrender to the fact that they were karmic. So instead of somebody going within to heal and um, not dissolve their ego, but instead of somebody choosing to go within and look at their own toxic behaviors, they just went and started fucking with other people's lives and relationships and money with spell work. And this is affecting a whole group of people. Somebody could have lied. And said somebody was karmic to get that group of people to help them do that. And the truth has been revealed. And everybody now is like, really? But that was part of the plan as far as the bigger picture. Where the universe always has control over what happens with and to divine people and karmics. So if somebody was like not fully karmic they were healing and then they got with this group of people listen to the lies not knowing they were lies like yeah i'll help this i'll help you or whatever i mean you know i'm with it now they have to deal with the same type of judgment from the universe regardless if they knew it was a lie or not they still have to heal from things from their past now that maybe they thought they had healed, but they actually did not. What's this expansiveness? Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Tell us more about this expansiveness universe from our water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Tell us more about this expansiveness. Yeah, somebody was trying to study how to get new beginnings materially using spiritual gifts. They wanted to expand their knowledge. But the route that they took, 6-6 six, six right here, the route that they took was not, it wasn't the right way. It wasn't the divine way. They thought putting, like, they thought by delaying somebody else or giving difficulties to somebody else, that would bring them happiness in unions and relationships how i don't know y'all but it was it's because in a past life of their own they abused spirituality and tarot and gifts then so now they literally are stuck living out a past life but in a negative way it's from the ego it's not of divinity with the two sixes in reverse, that's not of divinity. So now they're grounded. Their grounding is shaky as hell. All they care about is greed. All they care about is how things look on the inside, not what's going on internally. And that's causing a lot of stagnation and a a lack of appreciation for life like materialism and then being controlling somebody that whoever this person is wants to try to conserve their money and resources they could possibly be doing it in secret we got the hangman in the upright but the star card is in reverse with the moon in the upright so even though this person may call themselves trying to save up for some shit in secret it's all an illusion. Remember, I was telling you this person is delusional. They delusional. They're disconnected from source. And as far as their ego, in, in the distant future, that mask is about to be taking all the fuck the way off. Just wait on it. This person is not going to be able to hide 
what they've been doing this lifetime, even though they're just reenacting the same bullshit from a past lifetime, literally. What's the healing lesson for my Cancer Pisces Scorpio Collective this week? What's the healing lesson for my Cancer Pisces Scorpios this week? We have soulmates and home in reverse. If you are in a relationship, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you know this person does not feel like home to you, this person doesn't have you fulfilling your childhood fantasy of what a family actually is, you need to let that person go. That's a karmic. Y'all were just meant to learn a lesson from each other. That that relationship, the mask has been taken off. The universe is showing you this relationship is why you're not going nowhere. This relationship is blocking somebody's creativity. This cycle is already should have been over. Healing of the inner child. So either you or your partner need to heal y'all inner child, but y'all can't do that together because one of y'all is full-fledged, karmic, low vibrational as the fuck and delusional. Somebody sacrifices animals because they watch how to do spell work from movies and because they can't travel abroad to a practitioner, they just spend their money on Bullshit. Things that's not of God. Okay? This person be trying to do it in secret, but somebody know what they doing. Because the materialistic aspect is getting too heavy. It's getting real obvious. It ain't even balling on the budget. Somebody broke as fuck, but they, they doing something. Oh, they could be giving out massages so somebody could be dealing with somebody like oh I'm about to go take a walk I'm just about to go walk and exercise and they out finding random people to get hand jobs too that's disgusting that's nasty what's the self care rituals for my water signs cancer Pisces Scorpio Somebody knows they're a karmic from, like, somebody knows that they're 12th house enemies. I think that's why this Capricorn is pissed off. Yeah. Somebody pissed off because somebody knew that they were an enemy of somebody. And they still was going with the flow and pretending like they were friends. But either way it go, water signs this week. Spend time with high vibrational friends, okay, if you have any. Go with the flow. And you also need to connect with some fire. Do a do a bonfire if you're able to. Or something like that. Light some candles. Pray and meditate. Light some candles and meditate with some healing crystals. Maybe you and your friends, y'all can do that together instead of like working and shit and listening to music that just somebody has a sex entity on them 
if you know somebody that you know they sell pussy or dick and they got sex entities on them they over sexualize sex period could be a female um yeah this person probably got a, a back page i mean the only fans but if you um But if you know you have a friend that over abuses their sexual energy, you need to clear your energy. I don't advise that you meditate with that person, but you may want to um, advise that person, like tell that person they need to connect with some crystals to get that sex entity about them. If you really into like spiritual work and rituals and shit stuff, y'all need to be keeping up with the cycles of the moon to figure out how to banish this energy about your energy field when it's time to use water, when it's time to use fire, and when you need to go ahead and connect with people. Maybe you need to connect with some of your other spiritual family members. And y'all need to call on the help of high vibrational ancestors to clear yourselves from this demon entity that's about to... When I say rip the mask off, it's like it's, it's not good, y'all. It's like, it's ugly, ugly. Because whoever this Capricorn energy is, is like the devil in the flesh and it's a male like on some lucifer like he here with a purpose god got him here with a purpose believe that yeah could be a fire sign could be a fire sign and capricorn is in their chart it could be a fire sign dealing with a female capricorn and they regret it now because maybe the female Capricorn then passed this entity on to them and they already was and whatever type of uh, action that they were going through this is just like this just expanded it Guardian angel message to close out with water signs. Guardian angel message for my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's a fire sign that's not um, undecided about what they're going to do. The more enlightenment that they're getting. They're going to be successful in whatever they decide to do, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Moon card. And the Five of Pentacles. So collective, there's a time when everybody needs a hand. And your angels want you to know that you don't have to go through your current challenges alone. The situation that you're experiencing is temporary. Whatever your intuition is telling you, it could be very accurate right now. So trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others. And don't allow fear or worry to guide your way and it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now okay furthermore is somebody in your life that you thought they were wise and caring but this person is involved in a situation and you're gonna be forced to release them because they they did work that was real disorganized and got your energy field cluttered with their karma Okay, thank you for watching Water Signs. I'll talk to you later. Bye.